my video response to Corona's going a maying. Uh, I, this being the last one for the assignment, it's on the last day of April, so I, I assumed before I read it that it has something to do with the coming of May, and I think I was right. Uh, I'm having a bit of a bit of a hard time interpreting it, mostly because of the language. But as far as I can tell, he's asking someone named Corona. They could be a uh, the way he talks to them, it sounds like they could be, it could be a father-daughter relationship, although I could be completely wrong about that. Um, and he's pretty much telling her to go outside and welcome, and welcome the month of May and, and the warmer weather and spring that comes with it. And I, you know, that, that's what I'm getting out of it. I could be wrong, but if that is what it is, then it's clear enough. If it's not, then I'm not sure what it means. Um... But that being said, I think I think the way it's set up is interesting. How he kind of has the two longer lines, and then or is it, I'm not sure if it's always two. Yeah, it's, I think it's always two. And they kind of have the set of the shorter lines after it. It's kind of a gives it just not necessarily the sound of it, but just kind of on paper, it kind of gives it an interesting look. I'm not sure how that look of it contributes to the meaning of the poem, or if it does, maybe it's just coincidental. Um, although things really are in poetry, as I've learned. Um, I, I don't know, I just think there's something about that that's interesting, because a lot of, most poems I just kind of set up in a general, more, um, more uniform way. So, it's, it's a good poem. I, th I think, I think I have the right interpretation. It, it seems simple enough, so...